Hey, what's going on everybody? Dr. Siz here. So I'm going to use this graph to explain to you what the purpose of Eupraxia is. What the purpose of my book is, why my health clubs do what they do. And I don't think you can set up a plan unless you have an end goal. And this is the end goal. Okay, so on this axis, we have physical function or physical ability. And on this axis, we have age. And then up here, we have genetic potential. All right, so when we're born, when a baby's born, right, they have very little function. They need to be fed, they need to be changed, they need, everything needs to be done for them. But very quickly, they start to make progress, right? And they smile for the first time, and pretty soon they can eat solid foods, and they start making noises, and then pretty soon they're walking for the first time, and we're so happy, and they're making progress, and I'll see you see them ride their bike, and it's just, it's just such an amazing thing. But unfortunately, at such a young age, even before teens, I'm seeing kids where they're like so overweight, they have a hard time going up the stairs to get on the slide. I see them struggling to get in and out of a car. You know, they're skipping, going swimming, doing things because they don't want to take their shirt off. But let's just say someone is making progress even into their 20s, teens and 20s. And the one thing I hear all the time is like, oh, ever since I hit 30, like I just, oh, it's just I can't do what I used to do when I was in my teens and 20s. And so often we make poor choices at a young age and we start to regress, right? We don't eat good foods. We don't exercise. We eat tons of bad foods and we start to regress, right? And it's a rather quick regression. And then on average, our health span, our functional life expectancy in the US is only 66 years old. We rank 68th in the world. It's terrible. And then so many, we're in an assisted living home, a nursing home where we can't live by ourselves. And then we pass away at 77, 78 years old. This is terribly common and terribly unfortunate to me. All right. Here's where I think it should be. And this is where I help people get. So you, this, is, this would be ideal. We all start off the same and we make the same progress and it's amazing, but we eat really good foods and we exercise, right? And we, we keep improving and making progress and making progress and we should peak at like upper 20s, early 30s. And we make good choices so we help get to as close to our genetic potential as possible. I mean, isn't that the ultimate goal with, is to help people reach their potential, right? And then father time never loses. So it's gonna be a regression, but we wanna make it as gradual as possible. Super gradual, still very high functioning, but eventually we pass away, okay? So here is my goal. Wherever people are on this path, I wanna help them come here. So people come to me because they're here, they're overweight, their joints hurt, their confidence is in the dumps, they feel terrible, they're sad, they're depressed, like they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. So my goal is to show people and make it as easy and as fun as possible to eat better foods, to exercise, to strength train, so our function starts going back up. And we'll never get back We'll never get as high as we could have been if we did this our entire lives, but we can get a lot back, right? We can get way up here and then maintain it as long as we can and then quickly deteriorate. Now, I've heard many times like, well, you can't buy time. I disagree. Like if you pay for good quality foods, if you pay for a good exercise program, if you pay for good books that help you learn and make good choices, not only do you get more time, but more importantly, you get all of this, which is higher function, higher quality time, right? Think back of all of your fondest memories. I'm willing to bet all of them are an experience with someone else, right? Those are our best, happiest memories. When I help people make better choices and you go up and get higher function, you get more fun experiences with other people, right? But it gets better than that. It gets so much better. So if I help you make better choices and you get healthier, you impact, your choices ripple to those around you, right? So it's like the ripple effect. So your kids, your grandkids, your nieces and nephews, just kids that look up to you, learn from you, and these kids here learn these good choices so they don't fall off quit early, they stay on this path, right? And we help those kids get as close to their potential as possible. Like that's the ultimate goal. I hear so often, it's like, oh, I just wanna be happier. I just want my child to be happy. What does that mean? What makes them happy, right? Does eating junk food on a consistent basis and not exercising lead to happiness? Does anyone on this path say, like they're, they're the people that are unhappy, always wanting to get here. So what is happiness? I know it is for me, it's progress. 
purposeful progress. Making progress towards something that is important is what brings me joy. And what brings me even more joy is seeing other people do it. Like I love helping and seeing people make progress. Like that is the ultimate pleasure is making progress and or helping others make progress, right? So that is the ultimate purpose goal of Upraxia. If you're overweight, if you're not feeling good, we our goal is to help you progress up here. We're not out here to win CrossFit games or be some world-class marathon runner or some world-class athlete. Our goal is to be an athlete of life, to help people come as close to their genetic potential as possible, grown-ups all the way down to kids. And I feel if I can impact adults, I can also impact kids as well via the ripple effect. So my personal plan that I'm on, that I'm hoping others follow, is to make really good choices so I stay up here as long as possible. And when I'm like 110 years old, I'm gonna have sexy time with my wife and just not wake up.